So this Healy, I got a call months and months and months ago about this car and this conversation about this car went on and on and on. Then I finally drove up and looked at it. And what was so compelling about the car was just that it was a one owner uh, 3000 and, and it's a tri-carb car. It's, you know, center shifter, 80,000 original miles, one owner bought it new at uh, Paul Felton in uh, south of San Francisco when he was 25 years old and he's 80 now. So I had my uh, reservations about buying it because he really wanted all the money for the car. But then I thought like, where am I gonna find a one owner Healy with a, with a great history of uh, racing, doing rallying. Anyway, so we, we, long story short, we ended up uh, buying the car. We brought it back to Sonoma. Um, I filmed it all, I wanted to interview him. I thought it'd be really interesting to have this kind of video history, you know of uh, the original owner and the whole story on the car. And uh, so we brought it back. So the car gets back. And then I'm staring at the car and I'm, for like a month, I don't know if I even want to detail it. It had all the grime of 50 years underneath it and in every crack. And while it had been garaged, I don't think the guy was really, you know, he wasn't detailing the car regularly, to be honest with you. And it was just, it was dirty, you know, but I kind of, struggled with, well, do I, you know, do I clean it up and, and sh so people can really see the car? Because it really is quite well preserved when you figure that it's this age now. It's, uh, it's the same age as me, it's 55 years old. But I, I did made the decision that we would detail the car so you could really see every, you know, crack on it, but we didn't do anything with spray paint or anything like that. So it's a very honest, clean, thorough detail job so you can really see this car which is so cool because the miles are so low and because it's only had one owner and it's California car since new it uh it, it spent a few months in Seattle and uh that was about it it's you can see it's got the black California license plates on it it would have originally had I believe orange plates with black or yellow plates with black letters but because he moved to Seattle briefly for a career that didn't really work out and came back to California I think he said six months later, the DMV reassigned the black plates at that time. And you can see the S on that. Um, so that would have been mid sixties, kind of 64, 65, right around that time is, I know that because my mom had a, a 66 uh, Ford Country Squire wagon and it started with an R. So that uh, QRS, so that would have actually okay, late sixties, probably 67, right around there. So other than that, it's just been a California car and uh, it's cool. It's, uh, I think it's mostly original paint. It's had a couple of bruises and things and been touched up as he's gone. You'll see when you look at the photos, it's got the original seating on the leather. The, uh, the top and the frame are behind the custom cover, which was put in when the uh, roll bar went in, which was a very long time ago. Um, so that's set up like that and uh, Anyway, it's just a cool car, and I I, uh, I like the patina of it. I kind of like one owner cars. I love patina British cars. I don't know if the next guy's going to end up restoring it. It's a great car to restore, but I think it's kind of a really cool preservation piece for somebody with a collection that would want to have a car that has kind of a very clear uh, history and is just going to be the second owner on this this 55 year old car. So anyway, going to take it out today and shoot a lot of the exterior shots. You're going to find video of the undercarriage uh, driving the car. It runs great. It really runs quite well. So uh, check it all out. If you have any questions, call me. I'm Don. I'm the owner here of Left Coast Classics.
right, so let's head under the car. It's it's just it's cool. It's got all the original factory paint on the frame rails still. You can see all that. Just uh, I mean, pretty tidy and very original. Everything there. So when you get into all these inner fender wells, like up here, there's just there's no rust. They're super solid. The original asbestos above the uh, exhaust here. The heat. Spring mount, super solid and good. Get up in there, you can kind of see into the dog leg area. Good shape. You can see here where they put in the uh, roll bar and they did weld it here for reinforcement so it goes up there and into the back seat where everything mounts. Well, that could be taken off. And uh, up here, it's nice and tidy in there. The rear panel. Usually these cars are just a lot of surface rust at the very least after this long. Dirty, but good shape. It should be a very easy car to restore if that's what your plan is. Doesn't look like you'll have to do any welding. You're certainly not going to have to do any rust repair. There's the original shield up there. Heat shield in the transmission tunnel. And uh, cleaned off the uh, engine area just to see where we had any leaks. Got a little bit of leak right there. And looking pretty good around the uh, oil pan gasket. So, yeah, all in all, not bad at all. Very original under here. You've had some, uh, obviously, some paint degradation at the front of the car because of the heat. But uh, in back, most of it's there. <clears throat> I don't know, but that exhaust almost looks original. Anyway, there you go. That is our one owner, California owned 62 Austin Healey BT7 undercarriage. Be sure to look at all the still photos. There's going to be a lot of those as well. It's the right rear wheel. Front right. darker over here. Same thing though, pretty consistent side to side.